Hello, this is Nathan from One Web Street, the right place to discover digital marketing strategies for your business. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Google Business Listing and why it's important that you have one for your business, and furthermore, how to go about creating one. So I want to first start off with why it's important to have a Google Business Listing. So let's say that we are based in Seattle, and let's say that we're looking for a local business. So I'm going to type in best Seattle restaurants, all right? And I'm just going to go to that result and see what comes up. Alrighty, so here we have um, the first result in Google. And as you can see, this is linking out to what is called Google Maps, which is one of Google's many software products. But you can see that it's embedded in the results. So the first results, the first top three, um, are these three right here. That's the first thing we can view. And then after that, we can view different organic results. Um, we have a TripAdvisor, uh, Seattle Eater, Thrillst, and the results continue. So the reason that you want to have a Google business listing is because that's how your business has the opportunity to come up here. So if I just go ahead and click on this link, it's going to redirect me to Seattle, uh, the Google Maps results, and I can see images or links to many different restaurants, and I can see where they are in the city. Um, and so if you want to have this result or have your business be in the results, then you need to have a Google My Business listing. Um, and also, another thing I want you to take notice is we have these reviews for the restaurants. Um, we can also see the number of reviews. So in this instance, we have 412, 274, 1,010, so on and so forth. Um, reviews is the next step that you need to take as a business um, to help improve your ranking. Um, obviously, a restaurant is going to be very competitive to rank depending on where your restaurant is located. Um, but if you own a business that's in a less competitive niche, then that may be easier or that may make it easier for you to rank. All right, so now we can, now that we understand the value of why you need to have a Google My Business listing, let's understand the process to create one. So the next step that you want to do or that you need to take is that you need to come to the Google My Business website. Um, so basically, we can see right here in the URL, in the domain, it's just google.com slash business. Or you can go to Google and we can search for Google My Business and the this right here, this result is, sorry, this first result is an ad and we're gonna come over here and here we go, we're on the same page, right? All right, so the next thing that you need to do is you need to sign in. After you've logged into your Google My Business account, you're gonna to want to create a business listing. Um, and as we can see right here, we need to enter these different fields that are relevant or pertinent to your business um, and to tell Google about what it is you do and to be able to um, create the listing in its entirety. So you'll need to start with your business name, where your business is located, um, assuming you have a physical address, uh, what your street, ad street address is, city, state, zip, phone number, and then right down here we have category. This is really important um, to inform potential customers about the category of service or products that your business sells. Um, and then we have the website domain um, that is your website domain, if you have one. Um, all right, so you'll want to go ahead and fill that out and then click on continue. All right, so now that you've created your Google My Business listing, you are going to have access to the dashboard. And so this right here is our dashboard. Um, I'm currently viewing a client's um, my Google My Business listing, so I'm going to try to keep the um, detailed information of this specific client um, confidential, but I wanted to log in to kind of give you an overview of the functionality and the different features that you would have access to once you create a Google My Business listing. Um, so Google is rolling out a lot of new features that 
depending on your business services and products, you may be able to um, take advantage of. So the first one is accepting bookings. So if you are a service-based business, um, maybe a, a hotel or a tour company or a company that takes bookings, then this is a new functionality that you could take advantage of. Um, obviously, if you're going to enable this, you're going to need to be able to manage it um, and respond to inquiries quickly. Um, they also have a new post functionality. I believe it's somewhat similar to like a blog post, um, and this would allow you to uh, write content related to your business about maybe new product offerings or uh, other helpful tips to potential or current customers. Um, another new feature is messaging. Uh, basically, it is exactly what it says it is, which it would allow you to um, message with clients in real time. Um, again, I would only consider enabling this if you have the manpower to be able to monitor this and respond to messages quickly. Uh, the other really powerful thing about Google My Business is you can get a lot of helpful insights about the number of people that are finding you through your Google My Business listing um, and furthermore, the actions that you're taking. Uh, for example, how many people are looking at how to get to your business via the directions? How many people are calling you from your phone number that's listed? How many people are going to your website? Um, so those are really helpful kind of big picture actions um, that really um, give value and insight to the effectiveness of your Google My Business listing. Uh, you can also connect a Google Analytics account if you have Google Analytics installed in your website. Uh, again, this just gives you more information about the amount of people visiting your site, what pages they're viewing, um, the amount of page views, and kind of big picture uh, information. Uh, then here on the left hand side we have different tabs that you can go into to explore uh, more information. Uh, for example, if I go over here to the Insights tab, this is going to give more information about this particular business, such as how customers search for your business, either direct or through discovery, um, where customers view your business on Google. Uh, we have the listings on search and the listings on maps. Uh, the customer actions, which I was just talking about, uh, the number of people visiting your website, requesting directions and or calling you, um, and so on and so forth. So that can be really helpful to kind of gain the customer insights and customer actions that people are taking. Uh, the reviews tab allows you to manage reviews for your business. Uh, messaging for messaging, photos, you may want to add relevant photos, maybe uh, photos of the front of your store if you have a physical address or pictures of the inside or anything that would help you know gain trust from potential customers. Um, here is the bookings tab, website, and then users allows you to give other employees access to your Google My Business listing in case you want to give people the ability to manage bookings or manage messaging or any other of the functionality that you gain from having a Google My Business account. Um, if I scroll down further, we have some other tabs, which is create an ad. This connects to uh, Google Express, which is the kind of um, basic version of Google AdWords. Um, if you have multiple locations, you can add a new location. Um, and then we also have our general settings tab and support tab. Um, so I didn't want to go too in-depth with all the different functionality, but I just wanted to give kind of a big picture overview um, that, you know, of what you get if you create a Google My Business listing um, and basically the, you know, the different functionality and features that, that you get access to. All right, that concludes this video on how to create a Google My Business listing. I hope that from the video you better understand the power that a Google My Business listing has in elevating your business's web presence and how you can leverage it to get in front of more potential leads and more visibility online for your business. Um, if you are interested to see more helpful videos on how to elevate your business's web presence, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Additionally, please check out onewebstreet.com to see other 
tips and tutorials on how to elevate your business's web presence. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.